Hello friends, this is Russian Toys here, and today's video is going to be a review for the Marina Easy Care Beta Kit. And um, this is just something I've been wanting to do for a while. We've had these guys at the pet store for a little bit. They're not that expensive and they're pretty neat, so I wanted to do this before Christmas because some of you might be looking for a Christmas present and I want to take a look at if this is a suitable Christmas present for someone. So, first thing, let's take a look at the box. As you can see in the bottom right corner there, it's a 0.7 gallon aquarium, so it's actually not that small. The other marina um, beta aquariums that they used to make, they still make, they're a little bit smaller, they're about half a gallon. This is pretty close to a gallon, which is actually not that bad space-wise. It's still not really big enough, but at least it's a move in the right direction. They're also not that expensive. I mean, $20 Canadian is uh, what I paid for it here at our pet store. Well, actually, that's not what I paid for it, but that's what someone would pay for it if they were to buy it here at our pet store. And let's take a look what comes in the box. All right, here we go. Everything's out of the box. And as you can see, it's all packaged very neatly together. They really did make good use of the space in that box. So let's see what's included in the kit. And here you have everything that comes in the kit. It comes with instructions, a little plastic cup, some decorative gravel, the aquarium itself, obviously, and a background. Um, the instructions are actually not too bad. I took a quick read through them. They uh, tell you that betta fish need warm water, which is always good to hear because uh, many people are under the assumption that betta fish can survive in room temperature water. So it tells you to go get a heater. Um, so that's really good. It tells you not to mix more fish, to only put one fish in the aquarium and not put any other fish in there, to uh, do frequent water changes. So all in all, pretty happy with the instructions for uh, betta fish care. They seem pretty decent. Uh, one thing I don't necessarily agree with is on the cup over here. As you can see, it tells you to do water changes uh, once a week. And with an aquarium the size, you definitely want to do it multiple times a week, especially being as simple as it is. So you want to do water changes multiple times a week, not just once a week. However, it does tell you to use the chlorinator in your water, which is good as well. Um, the gravel, I was kind of hoping it would be smaller pebbles. They're pretty large, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this as I want to um, put some live plants in the aquarium. So we'll have to see about that. The background, I don't think I'm going to use either. It's, I mean, I just, I'm happy with just having a regular black background. I don't necessarily need the color over here. Now let's get to the main part, which is the aquarium. So the aquarium is actually uh, three parts or even four. So you got the lid over here which you can take off which just covers the back. You got the component in the back which is your reservoir that's gonna fill up with dirty water. You got your uh, tank and you got your base. So actually it's, it's quite a lot of parts split into those four parts. The reason I got this tank is because I'm really a big fan of the design, um, the way it works that when you pour in water at the top it sucks out water from the bottom essentially like an under gravel filter would apart from that dirty water gets sucked out of the aquarium so I mean it's a pretty simple design you just have a water fill line right over here which is at the same height as the um, exit for the water and as you pour more water into the aquarium this water back here slowly rises and starts to pour out so I'm going to show you that in a second how that works and uh, with water in there and that just pours into the reservoir and once the reservoir is filled up this red thing rises to signal you that it's filled up so you don't even have to look in the back to see when the reservoir is full this really is a neat design because it's one of the only aquariums that I know of that you can clean without the use of a uh, siphon or with little beta bowls without you know having to take your beta out of the aquarium and then chucking all of the water so it's a really cool design it takes all the dirty water from the bottom of the aquarium which is where the fish poop is and all that and flushes it out only thing that um, might be of a little bit of a concern is that it only takes it from the center of the gravel there so if you have any poop on the sides here that's not going to get flushed out so I don't know 
if that's really a huge concern, but that is something that I could think of as being an issue. So I'm going to go grab some water and we're going to try out this uh, aquarium. All right, so now the aquarium's filled up, filled up with water all the way to the top. And let's say I want to do a water change. It's very simple. All I got to do is take my dechlorinated tap water and pour it in. And as I'm pouring this water in, the dirty water from the bottom of the aquarium pours out the back. While this water doesn't overflow. So it's a very unique design. This makes it extremely easy to do water changes. And as you can see, as the reservoir in the back gets filled up, the red uh, notifier pops up to let me know that I need to change the water, which is very useful when you have the lid on. Because with the lid on, it pops up to let you know that the reservoir is full. And you can also do the water changes with the lid on the aquarium, making it even less work. So all in all, it's a pretty unique aquarium, but is it suitable for a beta? The issue I have with it is like all the other little uh, marina beta kids, is, it's just that they're so little. I know they make that because people want to put it on their desk, they don't have a lot of space on their desk, and this is just an easy thing that you can put right on your table, but there's still not a lot of space in the water for the fish to swim around. It's not terrible, but the beta fish is still going to be stuck in a little cube for the next few years that, of its life. Especially when you consider that when you put a heater in, you put gravel in, you put decorations in, maybe some fake plants, there really isn't a lot of space for the beta to move around. So that's honestly the one negative that I have about this tank, is just that there is not enough space. Also, 20 bucks is not that bad of a price, to be honest, but it doesn't come with that heater and it doesn't come with the light. So by the time you buy the heater they recommend, which is another 20 bucks, and um, the light, which is also another 20 bucks, you just spend $60. And for $60, you can get a small filtered aquarium that comes with a built-in light. So that's already, you know, that's a bigger aquarium than this. It comes with a light, it comes with a filter, and you're looking at the same price. So it's a great starter aquarium. It's a great starter aquarium, this little thing, if you don't want to buy a heater and if you don't want to buy a light, but then your fish is only going to last a few years. So what's the point of that? Maybe even just a few months if you live in Canada and the weather is cold. I think Marina could have uh, made this a little bit be better. So for example, could have made it bigger or at least offer two versions. So let's say have the small version for people that don't have a lot of space on their desk and then make a bigger version, maybe, you know, one and a half gallons, so double the size. That means the cube is not going to be, you know, that big. Double the size of water just means the cube has a few extra inches on each uh, side, just a little bit more width, height, and depth. And you'd have a big aquarium that would actually be very good for beta fish. You could have enough space to put a heater in there without squeezing the beta fish and it would just overall be a better aquarium. But that being said, I do think you can put a beta fish in this. It is suitable if you keep up the water changes, do water changes once every two, three days, which with this setup is extremely easy. And this will make a good Christmas present as long as you are not a parent giving this to a kid and the kid loses interest in a few weeks. I always have an issue with uh, people buying pets as Christmas presents for their kids. That how, that's how I got Patilla when I was 10 and it was not a good idea by my parents to give me a Russian tortoise um, for my 10th birthday. So then the verdict is I can recommend this. I'm not gonna put a beta fish in it because I think it is too small but that also leaves me with the issue what am I gonna put into this? So that's what when you guys come in. I have an idea of what I want to put in. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what, but I have a little idea of what I think would be perfect for that small amount of space. But I want to hear what you guys think. So tell me what do you think I should put in this aquarium. Can be a fish, can be a crab, can be a little animal. I don't really care too much. Um, but it's got to be something that can live in there without being crammed and that can live a good life in there. So let me know in the comments what you think. I should put in this aquarium. Keeping in mind that we're talking about this aquarium with not a lot of space. But yeah, let me know in the comment section 
what I should put in this. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, in the next video, I'm going to actually be setting up this aquarium. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it up with the gravel, with the plants, what animal I'm going to put in there. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It's always greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe.